Greetings, everybody. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. This is not going to be so much a Bible study, but there was a guy named Stanley Frodsham, F-R-O-D-S-H-A-M. He was part of the Pentecostal movement, and I was of, under the impression the entire Pentecostal movement was a fraud, but, you know, that's a thing. Even if part of it was true, wouldn't Satan want to infiltrate it and cause, how would you say, division and plant fake things among it to discredit it? And that's what I believe has happened to the Pentecostal movement with the Charismatics. Uh, so, I don't know. But this guy gave a, what he said was a prophetic warning in 1965. Now, you got to realize something. America, at the turn of the century, the 1900s, was a very different country than it is today. And even after World War II, you know, in the 50s, America was still, had somewhat respect for ministers and the Bible and Christianity. But the 60s, everything started to change. Now, you got to realize, I was born in the mid-50s. I saw what America was like in the days of Leave it to Beaver, Mayberry RFD, The Andy Griffin Show. I mean, that was America back then. I mean, Andy Griffin Show, when he was sheriff of Mayberry, I mean, uh, one, of the, one of the worst things that ever happened was, uh, what was his name, Otis? He'd get drunk, and he'd walk into the... Uh, jail and lock himself in. I mean, you know, everybody thought that was funny. But in the 60s, that's when you had the birth of rock and roll, the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, the uh, free sex movement, as they called it. You know, people would just meet each other in the daytime, and then by that night, they're fornicating. And, uh, you had the uh, the pill, the birth control pill that came out, which made the free sex movement easy. And never, and, and not to even mention the drugs. I mean, drugs absolutely exploded on the scene in the '60s. And of course, the '60s led to the '70s, which was the disco era, and then you know the '80s, the '90s, and here we are today. Has things gotten better or worse? Well, when I was a kid in elementary school, we, we never thought about locking the door, you know, and people didn't lock their cars either because they're afraid if they lock their car, they might lose the key. So they used to leave the keys and the ignition in the car because they didn't want to lose them. You know, they never locked the doors of the cars. I mean, it's just what a different world. So America's gone down the toilet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read his prophetic warning, and then I'm going to give you where I've, uh, my commentary of where it's found in the Bible. So with that said, let's take a look.